Hello my lovely, sorry I missed the vlog last week but I was on a long weekend in London and you'll see more of that at the end of this vlog. Um, but this one I hope you'll find interesting. It's all about food, it's all about clothes, blue and green should never be seen. It's very much about sustainability, talking of which, oh before I forget, Blue and green should never be seen. Isn't this great? Blue and green. Um, so you'll see more of that later in the vlog where I combined amazing blue and green clothes. But let's put the proper specs on because you need to see my eyes through these dirty lenses. Um, as well as shopping sustainably, this was bought from a, I think a pre loved shop. Do you know, I can't remember, but it's definitely pre-loved, definitely pre-loved. And yesterday, look at these, the local sort of antiques pre-loved marketplace in Rottingdean. Two gorgeous champagne flutes for 12 quid. And anyone who likes cats will love this. And it goes with my black and white theme in the dining room. Eight of these for 18 quid. No, what's that at three quid? Three quid a glass, six, yes, six threes are 18. Oh, what am I like? Um, but the most important part that I'm going to start with is an unboxing. Now I know I don't usually unbox in front of you, but this is as much as a surprise to me as it will be to you because Green Chef, this is an advertising -y bit, but you know me, you know I won't lie, you know when I try the food, I'll be very honest, but I'm going to unbox with you. Green Chef is a very sustainable brand ooh, who deliver to your home for those very, 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 very busy people. Um, if I was out to work all day and had kids, uh, there was no question that I wouldn't go this route. Um, when I had the horrible virus, I could have done with this being delivered to me five times a week. But what I like about all of this is there's no food waste. There shouldn't be any food waste at all. And they do keto, flexitarian, which I think I am. I'm a mixture of all these. Vegan, low carb and vegetarian. Ooh, look at this. I'll do a cutaway so you can see inside. In here, ooh, duck leg comfort. Oh, that's the only bit of meat. I'm very old. I won't eat mammals, but I will eat meat. Recipes. Whoa, look at that. So which one shall I do? I think I have, yes. Hoisin ginger duck lettuce cups. That is lower carb. Cooking time, 35 to 40 minutes. Butternut squash, bulgur, wheat, risotto, vegetarian, obviously. Isn't it vegan as well? And aubergine and spinach dull. Oh, I love dull with coriander rice. All of them, and that's vegan. So I've got vegan, low carb, vegetarian. So this is a really easy way to get healthy dinners or main meals into the family. And there's a special discount for you of 40%. I'll put the link below, but 40% off the first box, and that's nearly half, and 20% off the following three boxes. Each and every meal you've ordered comes with absolutely everything that you might need and haven't got in your cupboard. Everything is laid out so it's easy to cook and everything you could possibly want to put in the recipe has been provided, even down to a little pack of vegetable stock paste. <music> wait for the noisy oven to finish but look it's come out beautifully I hope you can see oh there's little aubergines 
Right, that's it. This is a brilliant idea if you've got people coming and you want to make, an, I mean, it's a homemade meal. It's completely homemade, but all the ingredients arrived. So easy. Mmm. So tasty. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, oh, I'm loving the blue glasses. Sorry about the reflection. Sunny, loving the blue glasses with the green in the pre-loved shirts. Need a proper bra on, don't I? Um. Anyway, do let me know if you um, order anything from Green Chef and uh, what you thought of it all. Um, I was very pleased with my meal. So easy. Everything popped out like a proper chef, all ready to go with the right amounts. Um, and while we're on the subject of green and food, uh, there's a new blog up. I haven't written a blog since last September. How appalling is that? Um, I blame you. <laughs> I, I do so many blogs and I'm very aware of you, the wonderful, loyal audience, that what with Instagram and a life and everything else, um, I just... Can you hear the wood pigeon? Um, I just um, don't have enough time to do everything. But I've actually done a vlog because the healthy meals, and they were healthy, there were so many vegetables, um, made me very happy because my latest thing, and I, I did it in Lanzarote really easily, as you'll see, um, my latest thing is to try and get a minimum of, five, you know, the five a day business. Well, the latest research is actually you need more like eight to nine veg um, a day, 30 different vegetables and not counting potatoes a week. Woo! It sounds really hard to do. It's not. It's not, as I will show you. Um, here is a breakfast I had out when I was in London. I don't know if you can hear me, everyone's having Sunday brunch, but just to show you how I get my veg in, I've ordered the one brunch on the menu and I'm having four vegetables, so it's easy. That's a mushroom at the bottom, kale, avocado, tomato. See, I managed, was it four veg? I managed four different veg at brunch and here is how easy it was in Lanzarote. Hence my complete joy at being able to go back to the same hotel. I have to wear a mask in the restaurant. So I'm just going to show you the amazing buffet. This is what I'm having for lunch. Quick whiz round, because it really is awesome. What do you think of that though? So do have a look at the links below um, and have a read of my blog if you really want to know all the latest research on what to eat, um, apart from 30 different vegetables a week, um, the healthiest things for longevity and immunity. I hope you find it useful. Now, what you won't find useful at all is the next bit because I'm sharing the clothes that I did that H&M campaign uh, that Iris Apfel, the 100-year-old absolute style icon, designed for H&M. Well, as we suspected, it all sold out, as you'll see. Um, but I'm showing you the clothes anyway because it's a wonderful, well, it's an excuse to put blue and green, should never be seen, all together. Um, so please don't hate me. Uh, but I know that you'll enjoy watching how I've made them. They're very eccentric clothes, so I've made them work with my ordinary clothes. So I hope you enjoy that. Right, now, the problem with having it low enough, the camera, low enough to see me and the whole outfit is it gives me a double chin. Have I become vain or what? I'll come and sit with you. That's better. Ah! Um, right, I, oh, I'm wearing the wrong glasses. Hang on a minute. That's better, isn't it? So, you remember this green fluffy jacket from last week? Well, this is the green and blue bit, 
which you had a hint of last week. Look at that lining. Um, so, yes, the... Oh, let's turn the computer off. Shut up. Just sh shut up. That's better. I hate it when computers ping, don't you? And you're listening to a podcast or a meditation. You're going into deep reverie and then the computer goes, bing! Um, it's very quiet at the moment, apart from the wind, because Jack is faster bubbies upstairs. He's so, he's getting a bit fragile now. He's really showing his age all of a sudden. Right, quiff is sorted. Um, so, yes, you'll recognise this top and the special necklace from the Iris Atfield collection and the furry green jacket, which is my total, total favourite. Um, you'll recognise it from last week. For those who didn't see last week's vlog, I had just done a huge campaign, so thrilled to be asked, to celebrate Iris Atfield's 100th birthday when she joined forces with H&M and designed a collection. Now, I'm sure those of you in the know will um, know that how marketing works with big brands. So basically, they sell out in hours. It wasn't three hours, as I said last week. I popped into Oxford Circus H&M this week. Oh yes, you will see a bit of me in London town with my godson. Just a little highlight at the end, but I'll pop back and tell you about that. Um, sorry. So yes, um, I popped in and he told me that they sold out in an hour. So three hours online, an hour in the shops. I don't know why it will. We do know why they do it, to get more people through the door. But why don't they just make more clothes so everyone can buy more beautiful iris clothes? So I'm going to show you the rest. If you were really upset because you couldn't get any, um, don't spit at me and don't be too green with envy. Um, I might sell a couple of outfits because they just don't suit very well. So if you are interested, oh no, what now? Oh, God's sake. Sorry, I've just been told there's a low battery, so the phone might die. Um, so yes, I may get rid of um, a couple of things that aren't terribly me. So do email me, I'll put my email below, if you're interested, but not this, the green jacket. Sorry, it's gone a bit dim. The green jacket stays. Now, I'm styling it with other things to show you that I can actually, although the clothes are very eccentric, I can style them with ordinary things. I've got my favorite, favorite brown boots on, but hang on a minute and look at this. I'm not going to change into these, but look at these shoes that I am keeping, that I got from the Iris collection. Um, and they're really comfortable and I usually hate flats. So I will wear, those, will wear those again. And look at this gorgeous bag that I bought 100 years ago. And how well does that go? Well, you'll see it go even more with some of the other clothes. So I better rush before the camera dies. And so that's the fluffy, fluffy one. And look at this for a smart coat. Sorry, I'm not getting rid of this one either. I absolutely love it. I have ordered from Mango some green trousers. I might get navy blue. I'll see how they look. But I thought if I was going somewhere smart, I could actually be good for Goodwood, wouldn't it? Or a wedding. Let's do it up properly. Um, and let me show you the detail. But this is definitely a mother of the bride coat. Why am I telling you this? You can't buy any. You can on eBay, but at a ridiculous amount of money. Um, but I just thought you'd like to know how I'm dressing them up. Ooh, getting up, not using my arms. Trying to keep fit. So yeah, I'm very thrilled with that. I'm a very lucky girl. You might be saying, how about these babies with the shoes, of course. Um, it gets too dark if I go back Ooh, with the bag. 
Um, so these babies look really good. And before I forget, look at the lining. Oh, yes. Um, but they're not really my... Actually, they do fit all right, don't they? Actually, let me know what you think. Because um, they do fit rather well. I need them taken up. But maybe I could wear them with this. Hmm. You know how I always decide once I start editing and see it full frame. Um, but I may part with these. So please let me know. Um, you can message me on YouTube or um, give me your email. And when I've made up my mind, I'll let you know. And I won't charge stupid prices like people have done on eBay. Very, very naughty buying things and selling them immediately. Things were up within a couple of hours. I've got ready super quickly. Oh, this does actually stay open. Now, um, I don't think I'm going to wear this. It's a bit too pyjama for me. I don't know, again, would I wear this in the evening in Australia or somewhere hot? And it's too long, look. This is for a taller person, methinks. Um, and for all those who saw the big green dress on Instagram, wasn't half as nice in real life. It was very thin, very caftan-y, and I'm way too short. I look like a midget in a tent. So that was sent to my goddaughter. Who was the one who turned me on to Iris Apfel and therefore blogging? That's why I started this whole thing. So I think she deserved that, I'm sure you'll agree. Um, this was also part of the Iris collection, this lovely black necklace. I don't think I would wear the blue underneath, but look, this is very pajamery. These are too long. The sleeves are too long. So I think this is size 12, big 12. I think 12, 14 taller with longer arms and longer legs if you like it let me know how's that right that's it i feel like i'm doing a shop sale i'm not i'm actually doing uh if um this is how i would dress them up for ordinary life i haven't actually i would wear the lovely blue moccasins with this if i keep it and definitely this bag so, is that enough colour for you for one week? We've had colour... This camera's not straight, honestly. Falling apart here, girls and boys. So sorry. Oh, here comes Jack, right on cue. So, yes, is this enough colour for you? Um, we've had colourful meals, colourful vegetables. Um, I hope you found that useful. Don't forget I've written a blog about why I think we need 30 vegetable, different vegetables a week. Um, here comes Jack, 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 Jack. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed it all. Oh, let me know if you get anything from The Green Chef. I must say I'm really impressed with the ease of cooking and not shopping. Um, and don't forget, there's huge discounts, nearly half off the first box. All the links, etc., are below as usual. So thank you very much for watching. A little bit shorter than normal, thank heavens. You must be sitting there somewhere. It's going, when is she going to finish? Anyway, I hope you're well. You can see how well I am after my COVID nonsense. Skin's looking good. Look, look, the eyes, the eyes. Um. The wrinkles have actually started disappearing under my eyes. This is still bad, but the rest is brilliant. So I think the needles with the collagen are working, but very important, and I'll cover that in a couple of weeks, is to have really good facials as well. It's like looking after a vintage car, lots of polishing and the best fuel. You know all of that. There's little Jack. He does nothing but sleep now, poor little old man. Um, I forgot to say, yes, I did have a lovely time in London. So I'm just going to pop that in. My happy place is definitely live music uh, and seeing my godson. So just a little bit of the fun I had. Okay, I know you all love seeing him. Hello. It's my godson again. <laughs> 
and we are going to see a friend of mine from Australia this is the London Palladium and I'm going to do a close-up I won't film him later 10cc who remembers them the one on the far right is my friend from Byron Bay in Australia he is English uh, Rick, Rick Fenn he's the lead guitarist and we should see him afterwards at the after show party yay so excited love london town with a special night this is kathy we met at the bar before the 10cc concert you probably can't hear me but she we follow each other on instagram <laughs> Lots of love and thank you for watching and thank you for being part of my very loyal tribe. I really appreciate you. Thank you.